Business attributes. Define the attributes that correctly describe your business. Why? Keywords again. Here's the condition. You can only select from the list provided similar to business categories. Only include attributes that accurately describe your business. Your customer can verify this on their end and Google will weigh their input heavily, meaning that Google really listens to the audience's input. Here's an example. If you have a wheelchair accessible storefront that offers a happy hour patio and bathrooms, some attributes to the list will be like restroom, outdoor seating, happy hour, wheelchair accessible. She's a brick and mortar. She will maybe need things. Yeah, wheelchair, it's accessible. Come, welcome. Google prefers the specific you are, the more simple you do for them. This is the elevator pitch for your business. Why? Business description. Where is our business description? Do you want to uh, show our business description? And guys, that's like a lot of my website because I want to make sure I sound as exactly as my website as much as possible. I'm matching my kind of my website verbiage and lingo with Google My Business for a reason. Because so the same thing when you offer your services and stuff like that, a lot of that stuff comes exactly from your website, so it's not confusing. The client clicks on it and then oh, wait, where, where the rest of the services go. So you just wanted to make to mirror each other. So like in your case, if you have more services, like in our case, we have several services, right? credit card payment process, what other services you have, like we have more in your case, we need to add those. If you have just one, like let's say co-working space, right? But you have services, what other services in under beach work, for example? <coughs> yeah, so that it will help, yeah. You see what I mean? This is the elevator pitch. So that description becomes your elevator pitch. Because when you're found on Google My Business, they read what they read on your website. When they go to your website, because the first thing they're going to do, they read that description, and then they're going to click website, if you have one, and they're going to go to the website. What happens in the transition from when they click on the website, if your website, for example, is not optimized to load fast, faster than eight seconds, then that eight second spam attention is gone. So make sure that your website uh, is very close pretty much with Google, uh, Google My Business, same language, and respect the conditions. There are some conditions there that I want to point out. The previous one. Yeah, this is important. It should be written with prospective customer in mind. People who know nothing about your business. Focus on the business as a whole rather than specific product, services, or promotions. Use the most important keywords that people will generally search for to find your business. Remember, you are writing for humans, not search engines. Do not use website URLs, special characters, or emojis. And remember, the last one is there's only a 750 character limit. So that's your elevator pitch, 30 seconds. But remember, they read that, they go to your website. If they have a bad user experience by getting to website, what are they going to do next? We're losing that lead already. So that uh, process has to happen very fast. They're landing on your website, they read the same thing. And then what happens? They check your services, and if you have a pricing grid, they will go to pricing. We've seen this in every single stats and how much time they spent on pricing. And those are some of the three things that people actually search for. There can be no spaces or special characters. For a business with 10 locations, numbering them 1 to 10 store codes as feasible. So for businesses with 10 locations, let's say you have 10 locations, numbering them 1 to 10 as store codes. There's a code for each store. Google Ads location extension phone must be a local phone number in order to show in search results. Cannot be a toll number. Do you hear me? A lot of people put a toll number in Google My Business. It has to be a local phone number in order to show in uh, a search results. It cannot be a toll-free number. So if you have that, you need to change it.